it was just God. He just like, he heard us. He knew we were struggling. Good morning. How are you? We're going to come back to the shade because it's already hot. Ow. That was my foot. Hang on. Here we go. Here you go. Well, if y'all haven't seen my crocs yet, here they are. I don't think Daniel's a super fan of the yellow, but you know what? He doesn't have to wear them. <laughs> Did you have a good night, Phoebes? Got a little rain this morning. Yeah. Phoebe, what do you have on the agenda today? Huh? You gonna be donkeying around? Yeah? Letting Fallon play with you? Punk on you? Hmm? I saw you out here earlier running and jumping and kicking. Y'all are both running in circles out here. I got Phoebe fed and oh, I came out here just to sit for a second. Um, wanted to chat for just a minute. Um, I, uh, we've got a bunch of stuff going on. There's no kids here right now. Um, there's actually a vacation Bible school going on in, in our town. And Emily is uh, volunteering there, helping with the kids and Houston is attending there. And so no kids today during the day. Oh, of course I'd have some intruders. I thought I was away from the donkeys, but the dogs followed. <laughs> they heard me talking back here. So, um, anyway, so we've got some errands to run and it's getting really hot out here. I'm already sweating, but her and anyway, uh, I, um, see these like they're not memes or whatever but i'm gonna pull this up real quick so i can read it to y'all uh you know there's like quotes and things like that that uh oh sorry y'all that i uh see sometimes on facebook or instagram or whatever and i uh screenshot them because you know a lot of them just resonate with me a lot and uh so i wanted to share this one with y'all it says if you want to you can find a million reasons to hate life and be angry at the world. Or if you want to, you could find a million reasons to love life and be happy. Choose wisely. And, uh, you know, I just got to thinking about that. And, you know, it's not, it's not hard to get in this mode of, you know, if some one thing goes wrong and then another little thing goes wrong or, could be a big thing, whatever, but if just a few things don't go right or your way or, or whatever it is, you know, it's so easy to, you know, kind of feel sorry for yourself and just sit back and be like, ugh, why is this happening to me? You know, and, or why did that happen? Why is this happening? Why didn't that happen when, you know, I thought it should happen or whatever it is. And, um, you know, we, it, it's really easy to, to get in those modes and slip in and just kind of be sad or mad even. And, you know, why do we do that? I, you know, I, I really wonder that sometimes. Why is that sort of, I feel like, the natural thing to do instead of just stopping and not being mad or sad or angry and resentful? Um, you know, why don't we just automatically think, uh, well, that's okay that that happened because, you know, there's so much good right here. And I know for me, it, you know, I've definitely had those moments and, you know, sometimes those moments last five minutes and sometimes they can last five months, you know, and you just kind of, you can get into a funk or whatever. And, um, you know, I, I've, I mean, really since, uh, you know, since I, I've really started following my faith and, and when I say started I mean within the last 15 years you know uh, I feel like that's one thing I've, I've tried to do and I'm not saying that I'm successful all the time because I'm not I mean over the last 15 years I've definitely had moments of gosh you know that stinks that sucks why hasn't that happened you know or why isn't this happening or why did this happen I've definitely have th had those moments you know but I do try I try really hard and sometimes it is very hard um, when something's going on or someone's done something or, or whatever to you 
against you, whatever it is. And uh, you just, you just, I try to find the good because it doesn't matter where you are in your life. It does not matter. I, I don't, I don't believe for a second that everything is bad around every, anyone all the time. Uh, there's always something to be happy about or thankful for. Um, whether it's the shoes on your feet, the roof over your head, the, the people in your life, there is always, always, always something to be grateful and thankful and happy for. And, you know, I remember a time when <clears throat> many years ago, uh, before our church uh, built uh, our youth building, uh, I don't even, th Houston wasn't even born yet. So that's how far back this was, over 10 years ago. And I feel like our, our two oldest kind of got in this weird funk um, with Sunday school um, or, or Wednesday nights. And not so much Sunday school, but Wednesday nights. They were really bored on Wednesday nights. They just, they just didn't enjoy it. And part of that's just being kids. You know, kids don't want to go, you know, to church. And, you know, we'd make them. And we'd go to, you know, our class or whatever. Well, um, every week, every week, they would beg us to not make them go. And every once in a while, we wouldn't go. You know, we'd just have supper at home, be together. And then we'd go. And, but then it just, because they, they just didn't enjoy it so much, we ended up not going. And we, we got out of our, our pattern and, you know, we, after, you know, a couple months, we realized what we were kind of doing. We were kind of, you know, looking at the negative side of why the kids weren't having fun or enjoying it or wanting to go. And, and sometimes, you know, we, we felt the same that they did, but we sat down and we had a conversation and we were like, listen, we've got to change our mindset here. We've got to to change our attitude because once our attitude changes, our kids will too. And ultimately that's what happened. We said, no, nope, we're going, we're going to enjoy it. And we did. And, and then they built this youth building. Uh, and it, it was kind of all within the same time frame. And, um, you know, they loved going to church. I mean, they were so excited about the new building and getting to do all the fun things. We had a gym in there. And so it just, like, it was just God. He just, like, he heard us. He knew we were struggling. And, you know, it's our attitude about things. Um, we've we've got to have a good attitude. I don't care what your situation, I mean, I do care. That sounds bad. Whatever your situation is, there's always, always something to be happy about. You just have to make the choice sometimes. And making the choice sometimes is the hardest part. Uh, Lord knows I know that. Uh, sometimes I just want to be mad. <laughs> Whatever it is, I just want to be mad. And then something will happen with a kid or a dog or, or a donkey or whatever it is. and Or a phone call or a text that, you know, someone's just thinking about me and or they saw a video or whatever it is, you know. And I think, okay, okay, God, I hear you, you know, yes, I have that to be thankful for. So much, so much to be thankful for. So I'm sorry, I've kind of rambled, but uh, I just wanted to share that with you. It's on my heart. It's, it's been on my heart for a while. And uh, yeah, I, I know I'm just, most of this video is just chat and not much donkeys today, but um, I hope that helps some of y'all, one of y'all. Uh, that's kind of why I do these, you know, I just share my thoughts. I mean, it is whatever it's worth. Uh, but I, I love sharing this with y'all and I appreciate all of you that, that listen to me and follow me. Uh, I don't, I don't really get it. You know, I think I'm a pretty cool, cool catch, you know, but, uh, I also didn't think people would want to watch my husband on, on YouTube, but a lot of people like to watch what we do here. So anyway, so song of the video is uh, Stand In Your Love by Josh Baldwin. Go look it up. It's a beautiful song. I love it. I love it all the time. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go do all the things I have to do today. All my errands, kids, church, all those fun things. And uh, as always, guys, do your best.